It would have been a no cool call for sure. We'll test our hard start kit. Now that I gave it a good Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released okay, for you. Okay, testing my next unit. So I actually had that unit go down the other day and everything was replaced so I don't need to worry about the one with the big rock on top. Just got to get this one here. So, pull the disconnect here. And see what's behind door number one. Actually, this is my third one today, so door number three. Many rounds, I remember, with this unit. Oh, you got a different compressor, looks like. Looks like the compressor's been repaired at some point. Okay, got to discharge the capacitor. Capacitor holds a charge even after the power is disconnected. It looks a little tired on the capacitors. Here's the start wire for the, for the fan. Start wire. There we go. And then we want the start wire for the capacitor. Oh, yeah. I thought I saw a little spark. We're discharged, so it's good. There's the hard start kit. Thought I saw another spark. Maybe I'm just seeing. My lid blew over. The fan is something else. I got my sunglasses on, so it's kind of messing with me. We can take our non-contact voltage detector. Yeah, we're okay. Okay. So now I just need to disconnect that start wire. Got a feeling I'm going to be replacing all these, but. the start. Okay. So this is a 5 and a 35. And I probably should look up this compressor as well. But let's just test them first. Here's the capacitor. Oh, we got nothing. Oh, we are doing a good thing here. Point one nine, testing the fan. What happened here? What am I on? It's off limit. Four point eight two. There we go. And back to the capacitor. Point one nine, it's bad. All right. I'm not sure what the APO stands for, actually. Um, A 
quick Google search later while editing the video, I found that it stands for Auto Power Off APO. Now we know. It's a battery saver. We've got a different range of very small amounts of, of uh, microfarads. But anyway, we've got bad capacitors all around, so... Actually, this one, the fan is okay. And then the regular capacitor... It's getting nothing, so... Let's disconnect that, and... I'll do a comparison test on our new one. Yeah, we're, we're doing a good thing here. That would have been a no cool call. Would have been a no cool call for sure. Test our hard start kit now that I gave it a good little drop. Here's our run capacitor now that it's free. Our fan was good. Here's our new capacitor. I'll show you the comparison here. Here's our new one. Before I install it, I've got to look up that compressor. 335.12. And on our old one, 0 .00. Now a lot of times when they go out, they'll bulge. This one really didn't bulge. Pretty sad. So I'm glad to change it out. Glad to have found it. Um, for ease in the future, I'll be putting this start wire towards the front and make that easier for myself in the future. Um, let's test this hard start kit. These should be right around 50 for the subcos. Get a better read here. Which this these connectors don't seem to be very very good. And I've got zero. Seems we've got a a bad hard circuit. Pull this down and test it a little better. Try to. Point zero 0.01. We got a bad hard start kit. That's the first one I've seen fail. I'm not 100% sure it's not the way that I'm. Pretty sure it's a uh, continuity test, which usually doesn't show anything anyway. And I switched to got good solid connections now. DSC point one bad. Ah, all right. Well, good thing we checked. <laughs> Could have been because I dropped it. Good thing we checked. Okay, so we've got a new hard start kit. I'm going to go with the new capacitor and new hard start kit. I'm going to look at this compressor now and see if we can get any kind of numbers on it. Um, lost my water. Lost my water. I'm going to rinse the top. 
top of that. Rinse the top of the compressor to see if we have any numbers on the seal. Again, I wish they would hit the Copeland. It's a tough read. So far, all my Copelands have been 35s. Gotta like get in here to try to read it. Can't read that. The model number's up top here. Oh, rubbing the deal. Maybe. Gosh. The sun is shining right here, so. C R E 2 4. Oh my gosh. CRE2-0225 See, hopefully I have this one already It's really slowing me down Yes, I do. If it's a PFV 970, then it's gonna be a 35 PFV Oh gosh, I cannot read PFV G. Oh, I can't read that. <sighs> Come on, buddy. I gotta try to get in there a little better. Better angle. PFV. What the heck? And that just looks like uh, a zero. PFV. Oh gosh. So the other one, the same numbers with just PFV, was a 35. I believe it's the same. 0225 PFV. Yep. So that's good. So this one takes a 35. I can try to copy it and research it. Copy. Okay, save. Oh, it's taking up my time, that's for sure. But once I've got it locked in, then I'll know. And I'm pretty sure already that this is... Oh gosh, my internet's so slow. Well, I'm pretty sure this is a 35. I'm gonna double check that later, but, it, but, I'm, but I'm like 90% sure. Again, somebody's got a work this out on a better list, you know, somebody make a page that lists all the capacitor sizes for various, I think I'm going to wind up being the guy to do it because no one else is 
that I've seen has really done it. So, okay, here's all. I'm going to put the commons at the back. I'm going to put the start wire at the front. Make life easier for myself for the future. Okay. myself or whoever else comes to test the unit. Uh, I'm missing common wire. Where are you? It's common. It's common. Actually, that's everything. This one, the fan is connected internally. So now I need my new hard start kit. This one had tested bad, or the other one had tested bad. So, on the new one, just to show. Ah, 47. So there we go, okay. Today, seeing this the way the light is, this particular angle. All right, so we set things up to make it easy for the future for testing. That's how I like it. All right, now we're ready to plug it in and test the machine. Plug my disconnect back in, get my safety glasses back. All right, um, this one definitely gonna want to check the fan baffle up top, make sure everything is sound tight. This other thing that will just going after everything that would cause me a no cool call. Eventually, I'm gonna fix these wires up better, but that's on a different mission for now. I'm focusing on what's gonna make the biggest difference for me on my systems all around. There we go. So each year I kind of take a different focus uh, on what I can do. You know, you only have the time that you have, so you gotta, you know, it's a judgment call. and experience effective and time effective. You know, all the factors. There we go. All right, and I like to test these out just to make sure. Yeah. Fan motor is going the right way. Nice and cold. All right. Done deal. Okay. Put my lid back on and this one's done. Part of me wanted to replace that five microfarad fan capacitor, but I'm not going to do it. It worked. They tested good. I have to do the right thing as far as cost effective. Although, I don't know. 
I guess there's a judgment call there, but this year I've gone through so many capacitors that I can't just I can't just change everything, you know. I gotta do it on a budget and make it right. As right as I can. If it was my own unit, no, I probably would change that and then save the five as a backup since uh, the subcos don't seem to hold up very much. All right. Deal. Off to the next two. That one's good with the rock on. I just did that one the other day, so done deal. The next two coming up. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are. You should find a bunch of different material that'll be helpful to your maintenance needs. Thank you.